The Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat has arrived, and with it comes the return of every single other Fast and Furious car in the game. In this short video, we're going to take a close look at everything to do with this new car, including how to get it, the customization options, the engine audio, and finally the hitbox. But first, a word from our sponsor, the Rocket League Marketplace, RL Exchange. RL Exchange is a website on which you can buy and sell Rocket League items to create the car of your dreams. Check out that view. No matter what your platform or your preferred payment method, don't worry, they've got you. So go create the Rocket League car of your dreams. Oh, and while you're there, don't forget to use the code MOGSRL when checking out. This is RL Exchange. First up, the SRT Hellcat can be purchased directly from the item shop from May 17th until May 30th. It's available for 1,000 credits as a standalone package. And it comes with a whole bunch of unique decals and these wheels. Unfortunately, this car is not included in the Fast and Furious bundle with the four other cars. So that's a bit of a shame. The Hellcat is a licensed car, meaning it has some customization restrictions. However, not as many as you'd think. As you can see, every single item type is extremely customizable, with most of the items in the game being usable on this car. The only real exceptions are the engine audio, which is locked to the unique one that comes with the car, which also cannot be used on any other car in the game. And the other restriction is that you can't use any other licensed items on this car, like the Batman goal explosions. Although you can of course use the other Fast and Furious licensed items like these wheels. Speaking of wheels, the unique wheels that come with the Hellcat can be used on all of your unlicensed cars in the game, like your Fennec. Here's what the engine audio sounds like in the garage. And here's what it sounds like on the field. The Hellcat has a Dominus hitbox. Overall, I'd say that it's not great, it's just okay. The top of the hitbox is easily the best point with almost no gap at all. The back and the front are both very average and the sides are also pretty average. On the field it looks and feels good with no major issues when dribbling the ball or when doing air dribbles. My overall score for the hitbox on the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat is 7 out of 10. It's basically just average. So go grab the Hellcat before May 30th and don't forget to use your favourite creator's creator code when making your purchase, as this really does help support their channels. And as usual, come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers, and check out my second channel if you want to see me play games live whenever I get around to recording those. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other gaming content. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <clears throat> also, sorry if my voice sounds weird, I'm kind of sick at the moment. <laughs>